So can, can I just ask you a quick question? So you're a socialist that is worried about some government activity. Do you trust the government? Not at all, no. Then why are you a socialist? Um, well, because, no, because I understand, I understand socialism not as that. I don't understand socialism as being pro, I, 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 I don't, I distrust hierarchies, right? And I think that a, a socialist, what they want is, is that the, they want more democracy. You want the people to be the ones in power. You want, you want the, it, now they do say the dictatorship of- Guys, guys, be yeah, nice, because he, he, yeah. he really, you know, he's trying to understand it. No, they, what I would, yeah. I would very much say that you, you should study what socialism actually, I know what it- What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back again to new videos. Today we're going to be checking out Charlie Kirk crushes naive socialist students. Okay, that's going to be good. According to Charlie Kick, people love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Uh, so, first thing I like to mention is that my mother and father wanted me to say hello. For them, because they couldn't be here, and they're big fans of you. <laughs> Hi, mom but, and dad. Yeah, but I'm the socialist they raised, uh, so I would like to ask you a question, opposition. Um, I was like, so what do you say? I, I'm the socialist they raised, so I'm saying I'm, I'm asking a question in opposition. Um, and that yeah, no worries. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I said, how can we rel have relativized a love for America when we have a long history of being anti-democratic overseas, being involved in, in coups in Chile, Guatemala, that have been supported by both democratic and Republican institutions? Hold on, I am, just, just to be clear, yeah. That was fast. Thank you, I could tell you're a little nervous, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna restate the question, question for But you. thank yeah. you for being I'm glad here. you're here. Did he say, uh, how can we? He said, how can we maintain love for America because of our anti-democratic foreign policy, in particular supporting coups in Chile, Latin America, around the world? Did I summarize that pretty well? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I think this kind of ties back into the last answer that we just gave because that does not represent America. That re represents crooked politicians that are in DC that mm. has us in endless wars, mm. staging coups because politicians are corrupt in DC. And I, I, it is very difficult for people to differentiate you know, what we're talking about here. Something has gone terribly wrong in America. That is a fact. This is, not the, this is not the America that your grandparents grew up in. That is a fact. Something happened with these globalist initiatives, them recognizing sometime after 9-11 that they can keep us in endless wars and keep sending trillions of dollars, sending our sons and daughters to go overseas. And let me be very clear, when I criticize this, we are not at all criticizing the people that went overseas and believed right. in our country and believed in our values and never could have fathomed that our government could be this crooked, this awful, this backwards, and doing this all for profit. But that is a circumstance. We didn't pull out of Afghanistan because Biden cares about your sons and daughters. We pulled out of Afghanistan, in my personal opinion, because they have an incredible resource. Um, uh, what's the one for... In, in batteries, not uranium, um, lithium. Yeah, one of the yeah, and they need for and, and they're going to mine it, and this is why they're pushing all of this ESG agenda. Uh, it is so much more Machiavellian, like I said, and I don't find your sentiment, what you're talking about, to be socialist at all. By the way, the question that you asked, at least, it's a major problem, and the only way that we're going to fix it is to disempower people in D.C. And that is something that people on the left and the right should be agreeing and coming together on. Uh. So can, can I just ask you a quick question? So you're a socialist that is worried about some government activity. Do you trust the government? Not at all, no. Then why are you a socialist? Um, well, because, no, because I understand, I understand socialism not as that. I don't understand socialism as being pro, I, 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 I don't, I distrust hierarchies, right? And I think that a, a socialist, what they want is, is that the, they want more democracy. You want the people to be the ones in power. You want, you want the, it, now they do say the dictatorship of- Guys, guys, be nice, because he, he, he really, you know, he's trying to understand it. No, they, what I would, yeah. I would very much say that you, you should study what socialism actually, I know what it's sold as, I know what they bill it as, right? When like, I know what the bill says it's going to be amazing, people are going to have power. You got to check in with the Venezuelans, maybe as a starting point. Check in with the Cubans who believed in Fidel Castro. Check in over the last 100 years, how many people have died because they sold them a narrative. And what really happened was the government then seized all the power from the people, promised they would redistribute it, but it is isn't what happened. The average Venezuelan citizen has lost something like 23 pounds. It kills every single time. So you're probably someone that has a really big heart and you actually believe that the government has too much power and so you believe it when people like AOC say, we're going to fight and we're going to return power to the people. That's not what they're going to do. What she's doing is she's fighting for government to grow until it becomes so insurmountable that you are rendered powerless and the individual mm. is rendered powerless. That's exactly. what socialism actually is, not what it's billed as. But thank you so much for your thank question. You. I really it. appreciate you being here. The student right there is pretty naive. As I be naive, he's, he's kind of shy. He's not bold enough to speak in public. Uh, by him speaking, you, you can know that he has that fright in his body. Uh, 
it's, it's basically um, Candace Owens who answered the entire question. <laughs> uh, I love the question Charlie asked him. He said, if you believe in, in socialism or socialist or socialist, then why do you support the government? Why why do you why you do you support the government what the government is doing? Like if you're a socialist, you should be against the government. It's it's, it's as simple as that. Government should be your enemy because you want the power to be to the people. You understand? So um the guy saying he he believe in he does not believe in hierarchy and he believe power should be given to people, that is socialist as a whole. But at the same time, is it's pretty naive. He really doesn't know the entire scope of socialism and socialism never thrive like never thrive the venezuela um Candace was talking about it's never thrived there socialism it's 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 just it's it's to give morale or hype to the people like yeah the power should be to the people the power should be to the people then after everything it dies off so the student right there is is pretty naive number one and number two um it shouldn't have come out in the first place. My own honest opinion, it shouldn't have come out in the first place to talk about socialism if he doesn't have a clear picture about socialism because you come out to speak to Charlie Kirk and Candace always very, very knowledgeable people about all this topic. They are, they are going to dismantle you. They are going to like crush you down. Like, crush you. This was interesting to watch. and I love that I checked it out. I love the students. I know that he was at least he had the boldness to come out. That itself I give him a thumbs up. But should I be more prepared? He was he was not prepared and aside being not prepared, I feel like he's been brainwashed <laughs> in some certain way. Because there's nothing like socialism and democratic being together, it's it's, it's kinda of hard to sum them up together. So comment down below what you think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as can subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all